All right, well, hey, everybody. Um, I'm having a marathon session in the green screen today because I know there's a lot of people out there that uh, need more content for, for uh, doing more online instruction, things like that. Um, this bird launcher activity is uh, kind of a simplified version of the bellicose birds activity. The difference is that there's no trigonometry in it. So, um, so it's really good for like a physical science class. And um, so I hope you find it useful for that. There's, uh, hopefully you've done the Apollo moon landing activity, which I actually just recorded like five minutes ago. Um, so hopefully you finish that one. Uh, and before you do Apollo moon landing, you also want to do accelerate the blob. Uh, so please do those activities before you start uh, the bird launcher. Uh, again, both those activities should fit fine into a high school physical science or physics course. Um, so Bird Launcher is, is uh, of course, uh, inspired by the Angry Birds game. And so what we want to do is we want to take the Apollo moon landing code. Um, and I can click this link and show you what the Apollo moon landing code looks like. Um, by the way, you probably want to click this button here to see more of the code. Um, not a spectacular amount of code here. Um, but uh, so this is what the code looks like. And initially, you're just sort of falling to the ground, and then there's a game over. So I already put in the game over. Um, now this, the V0x, the V0y, that gives you the initial velocity. Um, and then the current velocity is the Vx and the Vy. Um, so this is a little bit similar to Apollo moon landing in the sense that we have gravity here. Um, up, we're updating the velocity and the position there. Um, we've got a game over, which is pretty much the same as Apollo moon landing. Um, but in other ways, it's different. Um, so there's no X acceleration here, because um, there's, there's no rockets in the X direction. So I made that a little bit simpler. Um, yeah, there's no force. The only force is the weight. So what we've got to do with this activity is instead of starting from the middle, um, Instead of starting from the middle, we want to start in the bottom corner here. Um, the other thing we need to do is to add some sort of functionality to launch the bird. So right now it's just bird. We need to add the launcher to it. Um, so there's some, some, if you follow this step by step, it gives you some advice on how to do that. So to change the starting point, what we want to do is, is go up here to the beginning of the code. Instead of having in the middle, so the screen is 750 by 500, so halfway is 375, 250. Um, but we want to uh, change that to 100, which is closer to the bottom, and it's 100, which is fairly close to the side, and then 25 is extremely close to the bottom. So we're going to change that. Um, so again, instead of being in the middle, it'll be in the bottom left. So we're going to go ahead and do that. So 100, instead of 250, just 25. And so now when I run the code, now we're just in the bottom, we're just falling, OK? Um, so again, not so fun yet, but at least we're starting in the corner, which is sort of more like Angry Birds would. Um, the next thing to do would be to set um, the gravity equal to 0 at the beginning of the code. And then somewhere else, in a, in a minute, we'll turn it, we'll add some code that will make it not 0. Um, but the nice part about setting it to zero at the beginning, that means that our bird won't just, you know, fall, fall to negative y. So the bird will just kind of stay there. And it's actually kind of interesting. So once we have the bird there, um, you can kind of change these things. If you change the arrow keys, that, that changes the initial velocity. But we don't use this, these variables anywhere just yet. Um, in a second, we'll, we'll use it. Um, but for right now, we set g equals 0, and the bird just kind of sits there. And there's really no way to move it at this point, um, at least not yet. OK. So the next step would be to copy this code. So again, copy, click this button to copy the code to the clipboard. Uh, I, I would not recommend sort of trying to highlight this and do Control-C. Uh, better to just click this button. And then you want to go over here. And I like to put this sort of in the, you know, where the keyboard keys stuff is. Um, you could probably put it in a few different places, but this is where I like to put it. Um, and so what it does is it's, it checks to see if a key is pressed, 
And if that key is equal to a space, probably means that you've pressed the space bar. If you've pressed the space bar, it tells you, it tells the program to set gravity equal to negative 9.8. So we're assuming that these birds are on Earth. As far as I know, there's no burns on the moon yet. Um, and then we want to set the current x and y velocities to this initial value, this v0x, v0y. So now when I do this, it looks like that. And so if I press spacebar, it kind of launches it, which is kind of fun. Um, so that's kind of, that's kind of neat. Uh, the other fun thing you can do is if you, if you run the program, you can you know, increase this, the initial x and y. And then you can press spacebar, and now you go zipping off across the screen. So that's kind of fun. So, so there you go. Um, what's next? Let's see. What do you notice about VX and VY? Do they behave differently after you launch the bird? Let's take a look at that. So I'm going to hit play to start this thing over again. So X is at 100. V0, X, V is 20, V0, Y is 10. So after I hit spacebar, you, know, you have to watch to see what happens to VX and VY. Okay? So I have to hit spacebar. So VX changed to 20, um, but VY went from, I think, 10 dot down to, to minus 25. So VY changed like crazy, but uh, VX, once 20, stayed 20. And the reason for that has to do with there's no acceleration in the extraction. So we're launching the bird. Yes, in that moment, we're giving it initial velocity. But after that point, after it leaves the launcher, the only acceleration is in the y direction. There's no ax is 0. So that means that the vx is not going to change. Um, and that's true whether we, you know, I can kind of mess around with the values. So I hit play again. So I'm going to make this nice and big. You know, vy is 40, vx equals 101. So vx doesn't really change, but vy changes until the thing hits the ground. <laughs>